In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a tileable waterproof seat that can be used in a shower or in a steam room. And at the same time, I'll show you how to build a preformed wall that can be used in a shower, steam room, anywhere where there's moisture. And also, it includes tileable features, trims, and also pipe covers. Now, as you can see, I've already lined out the room with 12 millimeter elements board on the walls and 10 millimeter elements board on the floor. I've taped those joints up with ProSeal so that they're absolutely waterproof. There's no chance of any moisture getting through any of that structure and that's ready for tiling. So on top of that, I'm now going to build the wall out of the same material. This is just 80 millimeters thick. So it's a stronger, more rigid structure for building a wall out of and very, very easy to use. I mean, cut it with a handsaw. If the wall is slightly out of plumb, as most walls are, I can make a trim, scribe it in. And also, if I want to put pipes and things like that into the wall, it's very easy to chase out. You know, that doesn't happen very often. I must have built this one. If you need to, if it's a little bit out of plumb, obviously you want your front plumb, so it means you might have to scribe the wall. To some extent, you can fill that with the waterproof sealant and adhesive, but obviously you don't want to push your luck. If it's a big gap, you need to take the board off, scribe the back and trim it slightly so that it'll sit nice and snug with the wall. But very easy to cut, very easy to mark up, so not a real problem. So that's a nice snug fit. I'm quite pleased with that. Actually, I could have made life a little bit easier for myself by allowing five mil on that measurement just to let it in there because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal it up around the edges with the MD and I'm going to use the Pro Seal along the back to tape and fill that. And of course, if it's not level, it's gotta be level. And if for some reason your floor is out of level, maybe a concrete floor or whatever, you can bed it down with the KST adhesive and get it nice and level that way. There's actually a fall on the seat itself this way for the water to run off, so that's fine. Now, when it comes to tiling, probably the easiest option is a nice small mosaic, which you can see fits nicely around that leading front edge and nicely up that ramp at the back. And there's a slightly different mosaic, same idea. But you'll notice when you get to a slightly larger one, this is what I probably consider to be the maximum to work with, which is the 32 millimetre mosaic. And it goes quite nicely around the front edge there. But you'll notice that when we come up the back edge, that curve is a little bit tight on that ramp coming up at the back. So what I would do there is I'd just trim that off with a handsaw on that back edge to reduce that angle, reduce that ramp and just let that sit in there a little bit more evenly. A 
Okay, so that's the seat in, nicely sealed up, top and bottom, and it's already starting to firm up on that MD adhesive, so it's soon gonna be ready for tiling. And actually, I'm always surprised at just how rigid these walls are. You think they're lightweight, but actually, by the time they're tiled up, they get really solid. You wouldn't really know any difference between that and the masonry wall. And you can tile up around the edge here with a couple of trims on there, corner beads, but I prefer to use this end trim, which simply sticks onto the wall there to form this column. And then you can tile around that with the mosaic. And it really does make it an impressive looking feature. So that's it, that's my part of the installation done and it didn't really test my carpentry skills too much and I'm very pleased with the way it's turned out. Pretty rigid already, even without the tiling and I think a little bit too comfortable really. Uh, don't forget this comes in one metre width and you can also join them together to make wider seats and it comes with curved corners and backs and all kinds of other options and it's becoming increasingly popular. I've got a feeling I'm going to be doing quite a lot more of these in the future.